video is going to be a discussion of a, a pool skill that's re often referred to as stun run through. Uh, and basically what stun run through is, is the ability uh, to put the right speed and spin on the cue ball uh, that allows you to move the cue ball anywhere from say 3 to uh, maybe uh, 12 inches or just over 12 inches. In other words, hitting the cue ball at speed uh, and only following it uh, a very little bit, uh, a very short distance. Uh, I'm standing in front of the camera uh, to kind of give you a close-up uh, view of the cue ball and, and hopefully this is going to be clear. Uh, imagine that our, our trademark here, this little yellow uh, mark on the cue ball, this center cue ball, uh, basically in stun run through or to achieve the stun run through effect you're going to be hitting uh, just above center uh, maybe a half a tip to a tip above center uh, at speed uh, to achieve stun run through. The question is why is stun run through important? Uh, why is it something that you need to know about? Uh, let's consider a nine ball situation like this to illustrate the point. We have a four, seven, nine we need to pocket the 4 in the corner pocket, we need to pocket the 7 in the side, and we need to have position to stun the, to stun the cue ball back for the 9. Okay? Now, many players, including myself, uh, are very comfortable with, you know, more of a finesse, more of a, a, a slow, a slow stroking motion, more of a, uh, we don't mind or I don't mind uh, taking a lighter shot. However, here's a couple of problems with that. Number one, if the table is unlevel, or if the table is very dirty, or you have dings in your cloth between your object ball and the side pocket, what happens is a lot of times the cue ball has a tendency to hit uh, those, those chunks of chalk or those impurities in the cloth, or maybe it, it's, it's off level, it's not level, uh, the, the object ball will drift offline. Also, a lot of players, uh, just in their comfort zone, uh, how they their, their stroking style, they like to put, they like to stroke the ball. They like to hit it with with some speed, with some pace. Uh, they're not really comfortable with with slow rolling the ball. So with that, uh, they they don't like using uh, center cue ball or low cue ball at a slow speed. They want to hit it with some some force. And there is an answer for that. There there is an exception for that in the, in the laws of physics as they apply to pool. What you do, uh, just as I showed you before, is you hit just above uh, center cue ball um, with a little speed. And what's going to happen, and, and then when, when I demonstrate this shot, what's going to happen is I'm going to sink the four in the corner, and the cue ball is just going to inch forward, stopping somewhere here, or I'm going to have the cue ball further out. Maybe stopping somewhere here. So I would have an easy stun shot over for the 9 and 20. Here is stun run through with a tip of follow at speed. And what that's giving me again, I travel the cue ball maybe 7 inches, 7 to 8 inches. Now I have a perfect stun angle to come back for the 9. Like so. Now that takes uh, a little bit of practice, it takes a little bit of touch, uh, but it really helps, uh, especially if you're playing on a table that's, that's not level or, you know, it's very difficult playing conditions. It's another good shot to have in your, in your, uh, your toolkit. It's another good shot to have in your bag of tricks. And to help you better understand uh, follow and draw and position play.